Hello, welcome back to UK Foodies Reviewers here on Techie TV. This time we're going to look at a peppered steak slice. I know what you're thinking, gangsters have had them out for years. We've had it, we've eaten hundreds of them, thousands of them, we know what they taste like. Well, here's the surprise. It's not gangsters, it's walls. Peppered steak slice. Now, are they allowed to do this? Who knows? Um, I suppose you get meat and potato pies from different places, don't you? So why not a peppered steak pie, uh, one from Walls? Right. Cost a pound, special offer, so one pound. Weight of it is, what's the weight? 180 grams. Got it there. 180 grams weight. So, the question is, is it as nice as a Gingster's one? Because Gingster's have been making these for centuries. Well that's it, that's what it looks like. Looks like a trailer bite. That's your science teacher. So, what's it taste like? Hopefully it doesn't taste like a trailer bite. There you go. I always eat these cold because to be fair when you buy these things normally you're outdoors and you don't have access to a microwave. So let's eat it and see what it tastes like. How meaty is a meaty steak slice? Hmm. It's very meaty. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> Smell the pastry. <laughs> Smell the pastry. So what I'm going to give it? The pepper has just kicked in. Um, I'm confused. I'm going to give it a Lewis Hamilton Gary Barlow the cast of Mrs. Brown's Boys That's right, I'm going to give it three tax avoiding stars. Woo. It's alright. It's not a huge amount of difference between a Gingster's one and this one. Um, so, I mean, it's basically a carbon copy. You know, for legal reasons, it's not. I think you'd be hard pressed if you were blindfolded. And uh, have them cut up and, and put in your mouth a bit at a time, which one you're eating. So, uh, hmm. So there you go. Uh, pepper steak slice by Walls. As we like to call it, a Walls pepper steak slice. And remember, took him. I always do when I'm in bed. I always took myself in. Anyway, thanks for watching. We'll see you in a moment for the next one.